My name is Mimi. I help people make, I show people how to make money in the trucking industry with truck or without truck. So today I bring Joe from ADP. He's going to be explaining us how it can help us self-employed people because I know some of us, we struggle. Me personally, I struggle and a lot of my listener mentioned to me since we are self-employed and most of us is a one-man show, so we don't pay ourselves. We don't keep up on paying because we have to deal with so many stuff ourselves for the business. So we forget to set our pay stubs. So that catch up when we need a personal loan or we need to change apartment or buy house or get a car. So we get stuck. We got the money, but we don't have the W-2 or the pay stop to show for. So Joe, I uh, brought Joe today with us to explain us how him and ADP can help us. Hey, Joe, welcome for joining us. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yes, yes. First off, thank you so much for having me on. Um, again, my name's um, Joe Hurley. I work for ADP in the small business department, um, and I actually specialize in transportation. So I help very, very small, um, mostly transportation businesses. I actually help more transportation businesses than anyone else at ADP. Um, and most of my clients are either, you know, they just have their own truck, you know, um, and they're just running it. They have no driver, et cetera. Um, just looking to pay themselves to the business, kind of prove income, possibly lower their taxes. Or, you know, they're maybe just um, starting to look for employees and want to want to learn more about that and stay compliant with the IRS, or they already have have some drivers and they want to um, start paying them correctly, get legitimate and just get their back end um, straightened out. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what I do. Um, so you guys are definitely right in my wheelhouse and I have um, this conversation many times. Mm -hmm. um, again, a massive pain point for some of you um, smaller transportation businesses is one, you know, getting your your um, drivers um, pay correctly and comply, with, and comply with the IRS, but also paying yourself through the business, be able to prove your income, which is huge. Mm -hmm. So a lot of a lot of my, my clients will call me, they, you know, they tried to get a house or buy a car or even just rent and prove their income, but they were unable to do that because the banks, um, a lot of times they won't accept either like a 1099 or Schedule C no, and they require a W-2. Yeah. So that happened to you before, Mimi? I say, yeah, yeah that definitely they won't accept the 1099. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so what a lot of people do, and this is what I help with, mm -hmm. I help them pay themselves through the business as an employee of the business, just like I work for ADP. Okay. So when I go to the bank um, or, or whatever, need to you know, rent a house, which just happened. Um, so I just want to rent a house. I need to approve my income. It was super easy because I was able to pull pay something at W-2. However, you guys being self-employed, it's harder than it's a little bit more difficult. And I'm able to help like with that. Okay. Um, that's the one thing, major thing I help with. The second major thing I help with is um, helping you find drivers. If that's something you're, you don't have to, but if that's something you're interested in, I help find the drivers and make sure they're paid correctly. Okay. Um, super common in the industry is that, um, you know, when you get started, you're dealing with a lot, you're getting your authority, you know, finding a truck, getting going. You don't think about how to pay your drivers and you, um, you just end up paying them as like a 1099 or even under the table. Mm -hmm. um, if they are using your equipment, they are, they are employees of the business, just like I work for ADP, and you're supposed to be giving them a W-2 as well, um, which is very easy to do. I can help with that. Um, again, you, I can help you either way if you want to pay them a 1099 or a W-2, but just mm -hmm. know if they're in your equipment, um, you're supposed to be Paying them a W two. Um, yeah, I otherwise remember it's when I talked to you, you were telling me that a lot of us fall in that mistake. We think we have the choice either to do ten ninety nine or double two. But by the law, if they're using our equipment, we have to do it W two, not a ten ninety nine. Yeah, it's a classification. Yeah, mm -hmm. an example of a ten ninety nine would be someone. Running your um, running under your authority, they have their own truck, their own LLC. Then they would be considered a um, a, a 1099, oh, or say like a dispatcher. That's a good example. Someone who's your contractor, someone in your equipment, their company driver. You got to withhold the taxes, um, otherwise okay. you're evading taxes. Which hey, that's a business decision on your end, um, but just no, I can help you either way. Um, yeah, so let me show you how I help both pay yourself okay. through the business, pay your drivers correctly, and help find employees. Okay. Cool. So let me just share my let me just share my screen here. 
And then Mimi, feel free to stop me if you have any questions at all as I go here. Okay. Okay. Um, had a lot yeah, of caffeine because, this morning. Um, so. uh, uh, the, the thing that's going to interest a lot of the listener is that the fact that you mentioned hiring a driver, ADP can assist, help them hire a driver and improve the driver retention because that's the big question in the industry now a lot of people are doing this as a side hustle so meaning uh they have the trucking business but they got the job so they need somebody to drive the truck and it's hard for them to keep drivers so if you can mm -hmm. really elaborate on that the listener they're gonna really appreciate it yeah cool so let me start here so um, ADP, we're the largest payroll slash human capital management company in the world. You know, we pay one in five Americans. You guys probably are familiar with us. Um, again, however, I work in that small business space with the transportation companies, you know, exactly your guys' size, either no drivers and just looking to add them or one or two drivers. Um, but I'm still able to give you guys that same super easy to use technology that the big guys get at Amazon, Walmart, you know, um, most secure, best in the industry. And it all starts with this run powered by ADP screen here, okay? Um, so all you have to do, um, you can access this on any computer. Just type in runpayroll.adp.com, put in username, password, and it'll bring you right here. Or you can even just download the ADP app and do everything I'm about to go over on your phone super easily. Awesome. So all you guys in transportation are, um, you like to uh, either pay yourself weekly or, um, or you know your drivers weekly, very common. So mm -hmm. once a week or whatever you guys want to do, you'll mm -hmm. just pop on in here um, a day before you want the money in your account or your driver's account and click run payroll. So once if you click they run, run payroll, the payroll yep. today, I want my driver to get paid tomorrow, Saturday. So I can run so, it and they will have the money tomorrow. So it's next business day. So okay. a lot of a lot of companies will run it. So again, it, you guys, it's super flexible. Mm -hmm. Just super common. I'd say like seventy five percent of the time, you'll run a payroll Thursday for a Friday check date. Yeah. Um, however, if you ran it Friday, the mm -hmm. banks are closed Saturday, Sunday. Mm -hmm. I can have I'll have the money account on Monday. Monday, okay. You fall. It's next business day. Yep. Okay, um, that's that's pretty yep. good because usually uh some of the stuff that we I uh, used before you guys um is I think for you gotta do it at least five days before you oh yeah yeah but you guys it's pretty awesome so the next twenty four hour uh business day before yeah so yeah so and that's standard with with even the most basic packages okay super basic right. yeah yeah. So um, awesome. So this is the first page. The first page when you hit run payroll, this is where all your W-2s are going to show up. Mm -hmm. These pages are, very, are are customizable. You can have, you know, whatever you want in here per load, per mile, mm -hmm. per hour, whatever. Um, mm -hmm. Or you can just put the amount under salary for whatever you pay that week. So you can literally change this every week. So you can pay whatever you want to pay yourself that week. You can change it every single week mm -hmm. or whatever you want to pay your driver, you know, right there. Uh, or, hey, you know, it made a little bit less that week, whatever. Okay. So just put the gross pay right here. Just a flat amount how much you're going to pay your guys right here. This is where your W-2 is going to be. So anyone, you know, driving your truck, yourself, et cetera, if you want to give yourself a W-2. Okay. Right um, next, um, this is where your 1099s are going to show up. If you don't have any 1099s, this page is not even going to show up. Okay. If you do, okay. this will show up again. Just put in how much you're going to pay them that week. Again, you can change whatever you want, et cetera. Um, up next, this is, is ADP is going to break everything down for you. All right, you're going to break it all down for you. So this this example, um, say, you know, Dan, you got paid $1,500. Again, this is a demo. Your numbers will be different, very different, different state, different industry, different tax collections, all that. Uh -huh. um, right? So say, you know, Dan sell $1,500. Based on that, this is the employee taxes coming out. So this is going to come out of his pay. This is going to be Social Security, Medicare, you know, the FICA taxes, et cetera. Okay. Um, deductions. Next to the deductions, this could be child support, retirement health benefits, um, whatever, mm -hmm. garnishment, child support. Um, ADP will actually do what's called new hire reporting. So if you do hire someone that does have a garnishment like child support, mm -hmm. um, you're responsible for, for filing that with the state. ADP will handle that for you. No worries. Um, next, so, um, um, this is if the next. person got yeah. a child support, uh, ADP can take it out from AIDS too. 
take it out from take it from the pay and send it to the state. Okay. We do all. The, we'll file that. All the reporting done. Yep. Okay. Um, next, mm-hmm. this is gonna be the net pay. So this is the take home. Mm-hmm. Right. So based on this gross pay, the tax coming out. So this is this guy's take home pay. Mm-hmm. And based on this gross pay, this is what the the business is gonna be contributing to the Social Security, Medicare, etc. Okay. 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 Um, if you did have a 1099 on here, example, this would say 500. This would say zero, zero, 500, zero, right? Yes, um, if that's a 1099. If, if you have a 1099, yeah. Okay. So um, once everything looks good, make sure, you know, you didn't pay someone, you know, uh, $10,000 and it's supposed to be 1000 Make sure everything's straight there. Mm-hmm. Um, and then just make sure you have a total cash required in your business banking account. Um so the total cash required is going to be the total payroll plus the employer taxes. Pretty much this gross pay plus this is going to be, plus this column is going to be uh, this right here. Obviously, just make sure you have enough to pay your guys before you run the payroll or yourself, for an example. Mm-hmm. Um, once everything looks good, hit approve. Once you hit approve, ADP mm-hmm. is going to remove the um, total cash required out of the business banking account and mm-hmm. remove the employer and employee taxes on the state, federal, and local level. We're going to do all the money movement, all the admin, all the compliance. Um, do that new hire reporting for you. Um, and then next day, I'm going to have next business day, I'm going to have the net pay. You, you can either do next day direct deposit or next day check. Done. Um, at the end of the year, I'm going to mail all your W-2s and your 1099s for you. Oh, okay. Yep, those are going to be mailed out, so you don't have to worry about sending those 1099s out, um, W-2s out. Say, so, you know, you had a driver, um, mm-hmm. you know, he, he had a couple runs for you, paid him, but then, you know, he quit in the beginning mm-hmm. of the year. This will still be recorded on here. Ooh, the lights went out on here. Um, the, uh, it'll still be recorded okay. um, on here. So at the end of the year, even if you forgot about that guy, ADP is still going to send out his 99 or his W2. Yes, you. that's Handles. because a lot of us, uh, we get in trouble with the IRS for that. We forget. We might work. A driver might work for us for like two months, and down the road, we forget to mention it. Yeah, so... Yep. Yep. And this is also good to have it all in one place, run everything through here versus you having, you know, say you cash at someone, you pay someone straight up cash, you know, or you Venmo one of your drivers, right? Um, doing it through here, it's going to do it all in one spot and it's going to re- record everything for you versus, you know, at the end of the year, you're trying to find out how much you paid some guy on all these different apps, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so do it one right here. One spot. Um, if you need a pull report, forgot to mention, all your drivers will have access to the ADP app where they can check their pay stubs, W-2s, adjust retirement, whatever, change their employee information. Um, so that'll all be handled. They can do it all on their phone. They don't, or, you know, logging they don't have to, you know, um, bug you for that. Um, or you can just go in here if you want to pull a report. Um, all your reports will be right here. Um, pay stubs, whatever you can put. Once everything, um, once you hit run payroll, ADP is going to remove the, um, the, the toll cash required from the business bank account, remove mm-hmm. the employer Employee taxes um, on the state, federal, local level. Do all the money win, all, all the compliance, all, all those garnishments, new hire reporting, everything. Next uh-huh. day, have the net pay in everyone's account. Dr- next day, direct deposit or next day check. Okay, that's all handled. Um, at the end of the year, I'm going to mail all your W two and your 1099 for you. Uh-huh. Um, handled. So, say you pay someone, you know, January, you, you did a couple loads for you. Uh-huh. Um, and you know, forgot about them, whatever you forgot how you paid them, all that. So you're trying to send them a 1099. Don't worry about it. As long as you run everything through here, ADP is going to handle that. Mm-hmm. Done. Go, go, go. Do you have any questions on that, Mimi? So far? No, so far, so good. <laughs> awesome. Um, if you do, um, all your I forgot to mention, all your drivers will have access to the employee app where they can check their pay stubs, W 2s um, or 1099, whatever, um, to change retirement, all that stuff, or change their information on here. Um, okay. on the app or login so I don't have to bug you about it. Uh, mm-hmm. If you do need to pull any reports, just go over the reports here and all your reports are going to be sh- show up right here. You can pull pay stubs, whatever you need. Um, if oh. you do have a bookkeeper or an accountant, mm-hmm. um, I can actually um, give them access to um, your ADP account. They'll have a separate um, sign-in screen, et cetera. They can go pull any report needed. So they don't, so they don't have to, you don't have to pull it at all. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, yep. From there, um, so that's how you would run the payroll or, you know, pay yourself through here. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, all the tax filings done, et cetera, all through here. Um, next thing um, that's too, that uh, a big uh, pain, for, pain point for a lot of people in the industry right now is finding um, drivers and consistent help. Yes. To take your loads, very, very difficult. Oops, just click there. Um, 
So um, with ADP, what's going to be included here is you're going to have access, depending on the package deal, you're going to have access to between one or two premium ZipRecruiter spots um, included in here. Um, again, I specialize in the industry. I help more clients um, with more small business transportation clients than anyone else here at ADP. Mm -hmm. It's a Fortune 200 company. Mm -hmm. um, so I know ZipRecruiter works extremely well for finding drivers. It's the largest on online hiring platform in the world. Mm -hmm. Works very well. However, it's super expensive if you go through it, if you go directly to ZipRecruiter. Yeah. Um, depending on average, it, it, it varies wildly. But average, if you go to um, ZipRecruiter, they're going to quote you at like $500 a month. All right. So when you have it with ADP, so a lot of guys, what they'll do is they'll, they'll, they'll get on with ZipRecruiter, right? Mm -hmm. find, they'll find their driver, then cancel the subscription. However, turnover in the industry, you know, can be tough sometimes. So it's, a lot of times, you know, the first driver you find doesn't work out. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, the guy, you know, blows up, leaves, whatever, and then they have to, you know, resubscribe, you know, re-put out the ad, et cetera. Mm -hmm. um, with ADP, you're always going to have it going. So if that happens, you're going to have a roster of people to just reach out to and replace that driver if needed. So the way it works, largest online hiring, hiring platform in the world, you just go in here, do ADP, post the job, mm -hmm. right? ADP can even help you with the job, job descriptions, which I'll um, show you in a second. Um, you know, just put in like the job description, et cetera. Um, job title, and then it's going to have you fill out filters like, you know, must work these hours, have a CDL, whatever you want in there, have this much experience, pass the drug sex, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, then you're going to post it. Once you post it, not only does it go to um, ZipRecruiter, but it mm -hmm. goes over to a thousand different job boards all over the internet, right? So not just ZipRecruiter, okay. so you can get a lot of traffic on there, et cetera. It's going to sort out um, your applicants from most qualified to the least qualified based on the filters they put in there. Mm -hmm. um, if somehow you don't see it, you don't find a guy you want, you want to hire, there's a resume database you can just go into and see people who already uploaded their Absolutely. information on here. Yep. Um, so is once every, that, once the, uh, the access to that, uh, the zip, rec uh, zip recruiter, is that extra or that's include to... It's with... Yeah, so contact... Um, honestly, just contact me. We'll, we'll put my information at the bottom. Mm -hmm. um, but... Um, it's with most of our packages. Is most it's with okay. like it's with four out of five of the packages include 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 this. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, because Joe, we basic. really we really struggle with hiring and keeping driver. This is good because you can, like you say, if you need to hire driver, you post there, and it's gonna be post on older uh, job posting. Uh, platform mm -hmm. more than uh than ZipRuda and others. So and then if one don't work out, we've been through with sometimes you hire, you go through three candidates in a month. So mm -hmm. you can go back yep. to Zip Recruiter and not be paying money uh, because it's really expensive when you posting in those uh jobs. Oh yeah. Portal. So yeah. that's wonderful. And the fact that, that you know, when you can provide a W-2 to a driver, it make them stay more than uh, when you're providing a 1099. So yeah, for sure. When you get a W-2, it's more legit. Plus. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, awesome. Mm -hmm. So another thing, I help, I help cut down the admin. You guys are usually in the front end of your business, et cetera. Right. So, you know, how do you add, like, what, do you, what paperwork can you fill out for a W-2 employee or even a 1099, right? Mm -hmm. um how do i add them to the system hey don't even worry about that literally just go in here click add employee okay so okay. i make this quick i make a brain list for you two options you either just go right here um and then you you'll um it'll walk you through exactly the information you need to get your, your person onboarded like the tax information needed personal information direct deposit information mm -hmm. or hey even easier than that let's just let's just have the let's just have the new driver do it themselves right click this oh. button right here okay yep Put that right there, put in their basics, just the basic information in there, mm -hmm. um, the basics, and then it's gonna send them um, an, an, an email with a link. They're mm -hmm. just gonna click the link themselves, right? And then they're gonna put in all the personal information themselves, right? Their personal okay. information, um, mm -hmm. direct deposit information, fill a W-4, so the tax information, et cetera. And you, I can, I'll go over this in a second, but you can have them sign off an employee handbook, e-sign it. Right now, all the information is going to be sent to the system. They're going to be ready to get paid. Um, if you need to view their information, just go into people, the employee directory right here. You're going to have 
um, all your all your drivers right here, all their information. If, if you need to change something, click it, go in, direct deposit information, whatever. Or they can go in the app themselves and, ch and uh, um, change it themselves. Okay. Uh, but you will manage everyone from here. Yep. So you make that very, very awesome. easy for you. Get them on board, get them paid. A mm -hmm. okay. um, couple of other things which a lot, of, a lot of people don't think about as a small business, if they only don't have time or the capacity to, is some other backend stuff here. So um, one big thing is people don't think about um, your W-2s is um, what's called state unemployment tax insurance, okay? This is a state tax. Okay. All 50 states have it, even Texas, Florida, you know, they all have it. Um, the way it works is that say you hire a driver mm -hmm. and, you know, things don't work out. He's late all the time. You know, you fire him, whatever. If you don't communicate your policies to your um, employees and have proof you do, um, they can actually sue you, your business for unemployment. Okay. So, but because you've been paying into this, what's called state unemployment tax to the state, ADP does that for you, by the way. Um, the state will come in and pick up most of the claim for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, however, this tax acts more like a um, insurance, just like mm -hmm. think about a car insurance. So when you do get a claim, the rate mm -hmm. goes up. Okay. So um, the rate the rate ends up going up, um, just like car insurance. So to prevent those claims, what my clients do is they'll actually put together a state, a, sorry, an employee handbook mm -hmm. to prove they communicate their policy through their employees. Oops, my light went out. I'm sorry. Cool. So we make it really easy. It's a wizard. You can get this done in 10 minutes. You can take an hour on it, whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Go in here. So uh, just put in the basic business information, you know, industry. Um, if you have just code, put that in, whatever the contact information right there. Okay. Check off if you offer, you know, health benefits, life insurance, retirement, whatever. Pay time mm -hmm. off. If you don't offer it, don't check it off. It's that easy. Right? Okay. Oh. That's so also because a lot of people struggle with that too. Uh, when they're hiring, they don't know where to get a contract or a policy to offer. So, but this is really, you got everything in one place. Yep. And not only that, ADP's lawyers do it. Okay. So like, say you put together your policies, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not a lawyer. I don't think you are either. No. Um, so there's no way our information is hold up in court if it does make it that far. Mm -hmm. This will. Okay, because ADP's lawyers do this and update this for you quarterly. So ADP will, will create 15 to 20 pages. Mm -hmm. um, um, 15 to 20 pages is going to be auto-populated here. It's a wizard, um, and it's going to be state-specific, okay? So policies in Texas, very different from California, right? Exactly. So this will be specific to your state. They'll have everything from, you know, tardiness policies, employee conduct, drug policies, um, outside employment, whether they have a second job, whether the, the policy is around that, right? I don't even know what an R1024 is, but our lawyers have that in there for you. So if it does come up, it's in there. Mm -hmm. um, and then you can add, you can add a policy, and like no smoking in the truck, two women violations, you're out or whatever, if you want. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, publish it, put a logo on it, be fancy if you want or don't, it's up to you. And then you can add this to that onboarding paperwork I was talking about earlier. So before they even start, right, they're getting onboarded so they can get paid. Yes. Um, um, they're also, they're going to e-sign on this. Or, you can set a separate link, have them sign it, have them sign it that way. Or another option is you can just print it out and have them sign it. So now if there is an unemployment claim, you could be like, um, no, sir. You know, yep. it's timestamp here, February 2nd. You read our policy, you're familiar with our policy, breaking policies grounds for termination. Right. Um, so therefore you're covered, keep yourself covered. It's an easy thing to do through ADP. You can get this done in 10 minutes, just do it. Um couple of other things. I want to touch more time just to uh fly through them real quick. You'll also have access to a couple other things that are included with that. That's, um, that's one, uh, really, the the employee and book, the fact that you guys uh, consumize it based on the state that the company is operating or the driver. Because a lot of that, as some just don't do it because they don't know how to find that or put it together, or some go buy it on Etsy. But it's not consumized uh, based on your state. The law in your state yep. is based on employment. So this is really a good way to cover your company, to cover yourself from lawsuit and stuffy like that. Yep. Another thing is like you might have drivers in multiple states, mm -hmm. right? One is I'll help you with I'll I'll, I'll get with me. I'll break down how the tax to work on that. That's separate. 
Um, but also policy change, right? So you can so you can have this handbook for multiple states. Say you have a guy in Texas and then you know some guys in Georgia. Yeah. Right? Those two different states, you can have policies for Texas and Georgia in there. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. So you're covered. So multiple states, multiple laws, et cetera. And he's um, already right update all the time. Yep. Exactly. We're gonna update that for you quarterly, by the way. The mm-hmm. ADP will with their lawyers. Um great. So another thing on that subject, HR help desk, right? So mm-hmm. You, this will give you access to um, a, a state-specific HR professional, okay? So say you have like, hey, is this a W-2-1099? Sex trust in the workplace. Can I fire this dude? Um, I have an unemployment claim. How do I handle that? Call this number. You'll get a, an, a state-specific HR professional for your state or whatever state you're questioning in, right? So if you have a question like Georgia, right? Call, they'll, they'll bring you to the Georgia HR professional. Texas, Texas professional. Um, you just call that number. We pay them a ton of money. Um, they're they're certified. They're in the state. It's not like an overseas call center. So you're going to get a professional. They're going to give you the correct answer the first time and walk you through that situation the first time to make sure um, that you are in compliance versus you going on Google, Facebook for an answer that some someone just put in there that thinks they know what they're talking about, right? You are going to get a professional answer right there and make sure you're doing everything correctly. Um, you'll also, with ADP, you'll have access to free background checks, criminal history, everything for uh-huh. free. It's all managed mm-hmm. through here. Yep. Manage That's it all cool. through here. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you'll also have access to an HR t- um, hiring toolkit. This is going to walk you through, you know, how to do an interview. There's actually more legality involved with interviewing than you think. It'll, so it'll have everything you need as far as, you know, how to do an interview, what questions is to ask, how to identify a qualified candidate, easier yeah. said than done, right? Background check, wow. and forms and policies that are state-specific to your state. On the other end of that, right, mm-hmm. termination toolkit. This is going to walk you through how to terminate someone. Can you terminate them? How to mm-hmm. have that conversation, exit interviews, and then this your state laws. Again, California and Texas, polar opposites. They're probably very different, right? Okay. Um, and then finally here, you're going to have access to a job description wizard um, where you can go in here, put in your industry, transportation, right, position mm-hmm. you're looking for. ADP will, will have you leave it on job description. You can cut and paste, go right into ZipRecruiter. Wonderful. Oh, miss quick there, but yeah. So that's all handled there. Um, that is all I wanted to to go over today. Uh, um, one, more also- thing, one more thing. One more thing. I see yep. uh, one record keeping tool toolkit. Yes. Yeah. So can you? Yes. Um, mm-hmm. There is records that need to be um, on that you need to hold. Um, hold on to as far as employment goes for a certain amount of time and there's laws around that and there's laws about storing them okay right and this mm-hmm. is going to walk you through all that like can you store them like you can't store um certain things with your i9 right if mm-hmm. OSHA comes in store that you'll get fined this is mm-hmm. going to run you through all that and how to re- and how to store everything and for how long okay, okay. and all the forms and policies etc it'll yes. walk you through that um while on that subject you'll mm-hmm. actually also have access to this um um doc ball it's called Mm-hmm. So to help instead of storing your forms and pol- your forms um, in like employee employee like say like driver's license and whatever mm-hmm. in like a folder in your house part and place of business store everything in this doc vault right here. Oh, right. So it's going to be a cloud system. You can store everything in here. You're going to have em- employee folders in here. It's uploaded mm-hmm. in here, mm-hmm. right? And every every employee will have a folder. And it's nice that you have another partner, right? You guys will both be able to access this. Um, and be able to access the information from different locations. Okay. Awesome. Really interesting. Yep. <laughs> yes. yep. Um, I, we can go into a different video, but I'll be out. Yes, sorry. I say I can definitely, this is really helpful because, like I say, most of truck owner is just one person doing everything. And yeah. Sometimes, like you say, we don't have the knowledge. We're not a lawyer. We don't know the law side and everything. But if you have to go hire a bookkeeper here, a lawyer here to make your handbook, your policy and everything, it can be costly for some somebody who's oh, yeah. But you got everything in here to help you a help make your life easier and make sure that you protect your business, you protect your asset yourself too. Yeah. And that's just scratching the surface. We can go to some other things in the videos, but like I can help you with timekeeping. I can help you with retirement. By the way, that's huge for, for um, lowering your taxes and your retirement through the business. I'm going to like keep going off here. Um, 
like health benefits, right? I can help with all that stuff. Um, okay. And there's way more stuff than that. But okay. um, don't want to make this video too long. But yeah. Okay. Has, yeah, um, I really we appreciate can, your time, Mimi. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. gotta do it. definitely uh, do all the video, go in detail, which you guys can also yeah. because a lot of people are getting trouble or they struggle. They come, they get the information um, going from Facebook group to another group or YouTube video, but a lot of us are not specialized and what they're asking so this is better is a place that you can go and get a handbook pay your driver hire them the right way so we're definitely going to do other video where we're going to talk about 401k you offer 401k uh, payment or uh, stuff like that so we're gonna get in more detail so but thank you so much for all this information is there anything else you want to say that no mm -hmm. that's it the one thing is we'll put mm -hmm. my information at the bottom i'll make sure you reach out to me directly yes. um if you end up moving forward with adp i'll be your adp point contact for the entire time you're with adp mm -hmm. um and then go through go through me because um it, me me one of my partners you'll you'll get a special monthly um mm -hmm. partner promotion mm -hmm. um just make sure when you give me a call text email me make sure you you let me know that uh, mimi sent you um for special promotions etc um, you will not get those going through the 1-800 number and you won't get a dedicated rep or someone who specializes in transportation. So, yeah. No. So if I understand, uh, instead of them calling just the 800 number, that, they're not going to get a speech. They got to call you, Joe. Your number is going to be in the description or the comment down the video. Yep. Call my cell phone. Call yep. you. This is my cell phone. My mom calls me on this one. Or yep. text You're going to have it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's going to be a link too. They can fill up uh, and put the basic information so you can call them back and talk, walk them through the whole process. So again, guys, if you need to set up, get pay yourself as an LLC, Joe is definitely your guy, Joe from ADP. So until next time, like I always tell you guys, let's keep the hustle on and let's make money in the trucking industry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Take care. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye, Bye Joe. Thank you. <laughs>